don't know if you can see my breath there. It is cold. And uh, it's Friday the 26th of June. And we should be going over or uh, should be right around the Flemish Cap right now, which means we're at the eastern edge of the Grand Banks of Newfoundland, which extend out for quite some distance from Newfoundland. And uh, so I see the fog. The fog has actually lifted. We got at least a mile of visibility. It's kind of haze. But, um, and I saw a few breaks in the clouds. So hopefully we'll get some sunshine just to warm things up and dry things off. Because it's, it's just cold and damp. Um, so all I have really to combat that is hot coffee. Hmm. So anyway, it's about... Uh, I don't know what local time is now. It's 6.30 in the morning, Eastern Time. But I think we've gone through two time zones, so I think it's about 8.30. Uh, it's getting light. By my clock, it's getting light now at 3 in the morning. So we've got 16, 17 hours of daylight now. Uh, so, <clears throat> anyway, that's the, that's the morning report. I'm with my coffee. And... Uh, I'm going to message through the inreach here, see if some of my weather guys are coming up. And I'll pull some weather up from the inreach. And, uh, and uh, we'll uh, get going here. Although now the fog has gotten patchy, so it uh, sort of comes and goes. Right? It's just rolling back in now, but every now and then it lifts. And when it lifts, it's just a business suit out here, gray on gray. Gray sky, gray water. Uh, and I uh, haven't seen the sun just a little bit coming through. And. Uh, but with these long days, I mean, the days are probably 16, 17 hours long. I'm, I'm still able to keep my batteries charged with the solar panels, so that's that's good. The weather forecast today is good. Tomorrow we got a low that's going north of us, so it could get kind of brisk tomorrow evening, uh, kind of up in the 20 to 30 uh, before it veers westerly and then. Uh, settles back down to about 10 to 20 or so and then after that it's uncertain it looks like light winds for a while uh, generally westerly or northerly um, and then end of next week is where it gets interesting uh, the GFS is saying that we're, we're, we're gonna have westerly or southwesterly gales uh, Thursday Friday possibly into Saturday uh, the good news is that the European model is not showing that. Uh, the European model is showing two smaller lows uh, forming, which I don't know if they're going to give us much wind or not, but uh, uh, will not give us gale conditions. So we're rooting for the European model on this one. Uh, other than that, we just keep moving along here. Um, Kind of pleasant. Actually, we've had a couple days of fairly pleasant sailing, if you haven't mind the fog and the cold. And uh, especially at night, it gets pretty cold. And uh, when it's damp, you know, you get that damp, that damp chill. And it's kind of hard to, it's hard to stay warm. And uh, so, um, otherwise, all is well. I think I lost my Genoa winch overboard. Can't find it. Uh, last time what happened was when I was jiving, and I did jive the boat recently, one of the reef lines coming down from the mainsail just uh, hooked the handle where I had it stowed in the winch handle holder. Just hooked the handle of one of the winch handles and just picked it up and tossed it over. So my guess right now is that's what happened. Uh, but you never know. I might, uh, it, it might just turn up in some odd place. Um, so... So that's it for today. Uh, the fog is back sucked in again, so you can't see where we're going anymore. And, um, and uh, we keep going. And we'll talk to you all again sometime later. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Now we're getting into the evening here. And 
She's actually pretty well canvassed now, but these winds are forecast to pick up overnight. And I got two reefs in the main, and I think I'm going to put a reef in the staysail. The old adage, reef down before nightfall, with the hope that you're not going to get called out of your bunk in the middle of the night. And that is obviously not a racer's adage, that is a cruiser's adage. And so here we go. So first step is to lower the staysail down on deck. Then we have to tie the sheets through both cringles, the original clue and then the clue cringle uh, corresponding to the reef. So that's what I'm doing right now. forward and tie the tack. We'll tie our, tie our harness on here. we got to do is find the foot and tie our reef points in. And those reef ties along the foot are just to keep the, the sail tidy, to keep it from uh, from the unused portion, lower portion of the sail, from flopping in the wind when it's set. Let's get our last reef point here. Oh, I think she's ready to raise back up. Sure, that's clear. <sighs> so hopefully, the reef tied in the say stays hold two reefs in the main be good to go. Winds are supposed to get up to about 15 to 20 knots by morning, so that should be appropriate canvas for that much wind. But the winds are continuing to build and the reef staysail is turning out to be a little too much sail for her. So we don't have any more reefs in the staysail, so we're going to have to take the staysail down and replace it with the smaller heavy weather jib. So there it is in its little green bag, and uh, just getting it up on deck and getting ready to go through the maneuver here.
Now since we don't have very severe conditions uh, forecast, I'm going to leave the staysail on deck and just lash it down. Uh, if there were gale force or near gale force winds to forecast, I would unhank the staysail and uh, bag it and take it below. But uh, since it's, uh, we, we don't have any gales in the forecast as of yet, I'm just going to leave it on deck and hank on the heavy weather jib uh, just on top of it. And the tack of the heavy weather jib is, is high enough that uh, I can leave the staysail hanked on. So that way when the wind goes back down again I can easily remove the heavy weather jib and just hoist the staysail back up. Despite the rougher conditions, I'm still insisting on drip coffee rather than that awful instant stuff, even though it's more of a pain, especially when you like cream and sugar in your coffee. Another absolute classic, mac cheese tuna and peas. Easy, one step, hot, gets the calories in. Mm. Tastes good, at least out here. 